Good afternoon. It's like dark it's, out already. What it, the heck? It feels like it's Monday. I feel like I got a case of the Mondays. I think it's just because we've been going, going, going. Yeah. For, for like and a like, solid four days now. Ohana was like the last thing we had planned. Yeah. Like the first thing was go meet up with Matt after he landed. The last thing was Ohana. So what we're doing today, we're going to go to Fort Worth. We're going to go to, I'm thrown off because the some of the Fort Wilderness guests that were relocated here during the hurricane and they're still here. But we're at Port Orleans French Quarter. It's somewhere that we haven't gone since we've been here and we want to try and continue to do new things and not be such repeaters. <laughs> This is where you check in. Love, 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 love it. And here's Jackson Square, which I don't think I've ever been in this gift shop before. And look at that. You can send mail to Port Orleans. I just realized, look at these decorations. They're just like people's pants, just dancing the night away. Look at that, guys. I, th I think our new goal is gonna be to do all of the resort trivia stores. Jazz musical. Look at that alligator. Playing the saxophone. This is like one of my favorite places. I think I've we never, I've never, you've never stayed here. Nope. I've never stayed here, but I can just picture myself. This little courtyard is beautiful at night, beautiful during the day. You've got your your quick service cafeteria esque area with the beignets, which we might go see the price for. And I can just picture myself drinking a cup of coffee out here in the morning. Do in October, I'll link the video. Oh, that, like that link it over here. That we like fake. Do they have a sit-down restaurant here? Let's go look. Let's go look. But that over there is the pool. We'll get a shot of that later for you. DVC Lounge is not the only place to have this. Sarah? Oh, it's too tight. Ooh, two more. And some construction over there, but this cute, cute, there used to be like giant float pieces. Yeah, like this big crown. Okay, so this was the Sasagua Float Works and Food Factory, right off to the left of where you enter the lobby. And look at these cool masks. And we will be getting beignets today because they're only five forty nine for a six pack. Ooh, here's the bar, musical bar, <gasps> chess, and piano. I'm hoping there's going to be live music later. Is this this? This is the sketch. Scat Cats Club. <gasps> I want to be in Dixie because this place used to be called Dixie and Miranda. Okay, so we asked the, uh, the waitress and there's no sit-down restaurant here because it's at Riverside. Yeah. But they've got the real cool bar and they're going to be live music in about an hour, an hour and a half, so we're going to... It's fun because it's a Tuesday and yeah. Riverside is only like Thursday, Friday, it's Saturday. Wednesday through Saturday okay. for Bob, Yeehaw Bob. Yeah. Yeehaw Bob at Riverside, but they've got they have live music here. I, we didn't ask what kind, um, but we're going to check it out. But now we're going to walk around the grounds for a little bit, but look at these cute... Look at the exterior of the buildings. I mean, I like the exterior entrance like most Disney resorts, but they've got that French Quarter feel, and the streets look like little streets. Like legitimate. Legitimate streets, even with with street names in the tile. This place is. I know Sarah like grew up going to Riverside. Yeah. And I, I always like the theming like there. I like it here. It's just it's not as familiar. Right, but this is a cool themed area. I go. Yeah, like this feels like a street. Like yeah, I've been to the French Quarter. Like this looks like we're walking down a street, but like you've got like these look like entryways to the real buildings and houses, with the trees and everything. Look at this courtyard over here. We're gonna go down Cakewalk Boulevard because this window over here caught my eye, and I love when people do this when they're on vacations, and we actually never have. But look at this window. This family decorated their windows with lights and Halloween stickers and everything. They are full on in the spirit. I wonder if they did it or if it was one of like the packages because the people next to them did just Mickey and Minnie. 
Oh no, it's it's a celebration, Mr. and Mrs. I know that some companies come out and do those decorations. So here is a little sign for the pool this way, but here at uh, Port Orleans French Quarter, they actually have a laundromat, like some of the other resorts have as well. Like we showed you at All Star, that our cousins were at have them. And then here is the pool, poolside bar. There is a slide, two slides and that cool jazz band of alligators underneath the, the spraying shell. Alright, I think I lost Sarah running around this pool, but I think it's about time we go get these, these beignets and some sauces and really just enjoy it. I don't know how I can think about eating beignets after all that food with Johanna, but you know, like we've said before, it's something just happens, treat. just a treat, but something happens. When you step on a Disney property, you instantly... Say we ate a bunch of pasta for dinner. You instantly get hungry. And you instantly just, I guess, just gain a bunch of weight. Don't be sad. No, it's great. So many. Six. Six and chocolate syrup and it was like seven fifty seven. Seven fifty seven. With tax and the dipping sauce. And the dipping sauce. Are you ready? This is not a pretty meal to eat. No. Look, okay, I didn't even try, and I kind of made a smiley face on this beignet with my chocolate. Okay. This chocolate is like dark chocolate, it's super good. Delicious. We don't know these guys' names yet, but we have these two gentlemen right here. They're gonna play music for us. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Wow. If there's one thing that we will just say over and over again, it's how much fun you can have just at the resorts here. I've always said, I mean, it's different now that we live here, but we've always said that we could come down on like a seven day vacation to Disney World and not step a foot in the park. Yeah, and we're always finding new stuff. Like we've never done that before. And I think, I didn't confirm, but it sounded like the way the two guys were talking that they only play on Tuesdays. So like, just think about that, like, oh, on Tuesdays you can come see these two guys, one of them's a fiddle player, Wednesday you can go see Bob at uh, Port Orleans Riverside, Riverside. Yeah. Thursday you can do a, a movie at a pool or something if you're staying on property. Yeah. And But so much good live music, like, there's a ton, obviously, at Disney Springs, Ooh, but... All the performers, like, street performers at the boardwalk? Yeah. There's just, there's always so much something to, always something fun to do. And I love it all. Even on a Tuesday, like we've been gone for maybe two hours and we're we're gonna going to go home now. Like What's the difference between sitting in front of your TV and sitting in front of that? Yeah. Look at this cute babe. She's we're, watching Brave. We're ready for bed. She's ready for bed. But at least tomorrow is Wednesday. Yay! We don't know what we're doing yet, so yeah. let us know in the comments down below what we should do tonight. Probably do something fun. Always. But with that, thank you for following along. Make sure you give a thumbs up if you enjoy the little music scenes at the resorts. Leave no, a comment so down below. <laughs> Leave a comment down below about what you like to do at the resorts outside of the parks. And it's good to be home. It's good to be home.
It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>